Thomas, you can save your friends. Or you can save us all. So this is the third chapter in the Maze Runner series. And what did I think about it? Well, let's find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Maze Runner, The Death Cure. But before we get into the review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button, click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. And also, give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have The Maze Runner, The Death Cure. I have seen all movies. This is based on a book or a book series that came out in 2009. The first Maze Runner film came out in 2014. I've seen the Maze Runner in, in theaters. I've seen the part two, the Maze Runner, uh, the Scorch Trials, and now we have the final installment, uh, The Death Cure. Now, when I first saw the trailers, or when the first one came out, The Maze Runner in 2014, I was really looking forward to that film. I enjoyed it for the most part, but I remember being very disappointed. But then I saw the the uh, Scorch Trials, the second one in theaters, and I was pretty much blown away by that movie. I really did love it a lot. It was fantastic. It had a lot of uh, great cinematography. The whole environment looked fantastic. I liked it a lot better than the original Maze Runner that came out before that. But with The Death Cure, there was nothing about it that just really uh, got me excited I couldn't say that it's like man I can't wait to see the death cure but you know it still looked good you know and I, I went in with mediocre expectations now this whole all three films are being directed by Wes Ball um, the only movies that he's done before this are like three short films and I can pretty much say that he pretty he did a great job on this I'm very impressed um, especially kind of with this being this series kind of being like his directorial debut and now of course if you've seen the uh, the movies you know that Dylan O'Brien is the main character in the series uh, by he's playing a uh, somebody uh, by the name of Thomas and if you know Dylan O'Brien uh, last year he did that movie that assassin movie American Assassin with Michael Keaton and I really wasn't a fan of this movie but I mean of that movie but Dylan O'Brien did a great job in this film right here and I'll just go ahead and say guys the best thing that I really did enjoy not just about uh, this movie here but the whole series but just talking about death cure is the best part to me is the production value the production quality Everything about the production looks freaking fantastic. Like they really look like they spent a good amount of money on this budget and it shows in every frame of this movie. Like seriously, the, it, everything looks great. Everything has great scale to it. Um, it really makes everything feel like a great adventure. The cinematography is wonderful. All the effects uh, from like the zombies, I call them zombies, but they're they're more infected and, and they, they have a particular name for them in this movie, in the series, but I can't remember that right now. But everything just looks fantastic, like seriously. And like, it just has such a great scope and, you know, I, I really also like the action in this movie, well, the big action. And in this, in this movie, they have what I want to call big action and small action. I'm going to talk about the big action right now and I'll talk about the small action a little bit later. But the big action is freaking fantastic, like, you know, the way the film starts off is like, you know, kind of just like uh, in, in sort of a way like a high scenario. And it's in the desert. And, and I was just like, really like, oh, my gosh, I, I, you know, I'm really wondering how they're going to pull this off. And just with all the imagery and effects and just how everything just looks so big and in depth and all that, like I was really just like really eating it up. You know, they, they set this world in some uh, future dystopian future future dystopian future future dystopian future to where you know mankind is uh you know dying and you know humans could possibly go extinct and like it just looked fantastic and I, I was just like wow you know i'm really impressed by this i mean even if the movie is okay just by the way it looks it kind of makes me want to buy it just on blu-ray or 4k you know just so i can enjoy it at home and just kind of just look at all the pretty images and i think i've said like images like seven times uh, but about the big action, like I said, the very beginning of it, there's like a heist film in the desert and there's like a number of chase scenes and flying vehicles and car chases and things like that. And that right there, I'm loving all of it. Um, the acting was pretty good, too, surprisingly. And that's just something that I wouldn't expect, you know, coming from a movie like this. 
but the main character Thomas and then there's another actor by the name of uh, Newt or another character by the name of Newt um, they there was two scenes with these two gentlemen to where they really did show their acting chops now I will say that the acting and the way they emoted doing these particular scenes was a little misplaced and I was just kind of saying to myself okay like you know, calm down. You don't have to bite this other character's head off, you know, just because y'all have different views. But at the same time, when I was watching, I was like, okay, man, I'm really convinced. You know, you are really showing a great amount of passion right here. And um, you really believe in what you believe in. So, you know, I know not to cross you. Something else great about the film was the plot was very easy to follow. They're just trying to um, find the cure for this disease called the flare. And also what was developed in the past films that I remember is that they don't want to leave any man or woman behind that they were able to escape out of the maze. And there is one particular character that they're trying to break into the wicked facility facility so they can rescue him. So they won't kill the they won't kill him and take his blood or his genes and whatnot that, you know, makes him immune to the disease of the flare and just kind of escape, escape away in the distance on, you know, like a, a beach across the world or something like that. So that's the plot of the movie. It's really easy to follow. I was loving all that, loving the acting, love the big action with the chase scenes and flying vehicles and things like that. Um, you know, and I also just really love the production value. But unfortunately, there is some bad in this movie. And I don't know if it, this is the movie's fault or it's my fault. It may be mine, but I really don't remember all the details from the past film from the past film so there was a few po points in this movie a few moments to where you could tell that something important was happening or like a, a character may have popped up from the past and i was just well, excuse me i was just kind of sitting there to myself just like okay i kind of remember these details i kind of don't i remember you but i really don't i don't know how significant this really is and with me i don't really feel to where if you have a series or a saga or a trilogy or whatever that you should be required to go back and watch the previous films to prepare yourself for the new one i just don't think that's that's necessary i've seen all of them i haven't read the books but i didn't do that and i just i remember i remember everything on the surface but all the details I, it would just you know be on me so i really can't just say if there was plot holes in this movie you know i really couldn't pick them out maybe some uh, someone else can but that was just kind of frustrating to me that i was just like not remembering anything something else that really kind of pissed me off and i don't want to say pissed me off because that's kind of a strong uh, word to use i guess but something that really frustrated me was the small action and they when they were trying to um break in or infiltrate this facility that behind this grand wall with the wiki they were in suits and had guns and things like that and a number of times when they was engaged in battle and gunfights i just really felt that they should have been captured or shot when they was running like when thomas and newt were running through hallways and things like that i was just kind of just saying like oh my gosh like y'all should have been shot like seven or eight times right now and i can't believe y'all you know you're you're uh, getting away with this everything was i mean uh, everything around it was well choreographed and all that good stuff but i'm just saying like okay if somebody if you just like 15 20 feet away and someone has a rifle and this is a narrow hallway i mean you know they didn't choreograph those parts that well you know so that kind of clocked me out right there but all other chases you know i was just like wow you know i'm really at the edge of my seat and we just got so you know going back to some of the good stuff we got so much scenery from um the slums or like the desert or like underground tunnels the beach the city in the daytime the city at nighttime just so much great things to look at you know day and night cinematography production was, was just like flawless and you know i don't know i was talking about the bad stuff but i just had to go jump over uh with the good stuff as well and the last thing that i'll say that really just the worst part of the movie for me was that everything was great uh the first act was great the second act was great but the third act i'm gonna divide the third act into three parts okay the beginning uh, the middle and the end. Um, the beginning of the third act was great. I love all the action there. And the very end of the third act to where, you know, everything is resolved. You know, I guess you could say possibly the good guys won and they're off over here trying to celebrate or whatever and and kind of just seclude themselves and, you know, all the scenes leading up to the credits. That was great. But the middle of the third act to where it was like, I guess the second act, the second half of the action was really ridiculous to me and there was just like a lot of unnecessary plot devices that they threw into the film so i was just like okay 
you know, why are you doing this? Why, there's like a, a there was a number of unnecessary sacrifices. Um, you know, a character here, a character there died for no reason, and I felt that they could have gotten away. And I was just kind of saying to myself, okay, like it's fun. That was just kind of like the action. I was like, okay, this is just kind of ridiculous here. This action that they're throwing at you. You know, it was great before, but now you're just kind of making it seem like characters have infinite lives. And, you know, I'm not buying that. But as far as the, the plot kind of fell apart for me, too, just like, OK, well, if this was the goal, if y'all could have done this, y'all should have done this a long time ago. You know, and that kind of brought the film down for me. But I really did still enjoy it. Out of all three films, if I had to say the one that I liked the most, I would say the second one, then the third one, The Death Cure, and then the first one, The Maze Runner. But this is not a bad film. I really did enjoy it. I think you will, too. Especially if you read the books, I think you should go see it and compare to see which ones you like the most. If I had to rate uh, The Maze Runner, The Death Cure out of a 1 out of 10, I would give this a 7 out of 10. Yes, a 7 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen The Maze Runner, The Death Cure, or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. Check me out there. Bookmark it. Also, look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Maze Runner The Death Cure starring Dylan O'Brien directed by Wes Ball. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brennan Kit Avery and that's just my opinion. Peace.